Violent protests erupted in Burundi's capital, Bujumbura. The ruling party, same day after day, had just announced that incumbent president, Pierre Nkurunziza, would run for a third term. We are tired. We want peace. We want the respect of uh, our nation and our um, legal texts. Our constitution is sacred. Opposition leaders claim Kurunzinza had already served two terms as per the country's constitution. The country's highest court, however, ruled in his favor. Judges claimed he was not elected by the people on his first term in office, but appointed by parliament. Intensified, thousands were forced to flee their homes. More than 200 people, including top government and opposition leaders, were killed. On May 13th, a coup was announced. As President Pierre Nkurunziza was attending an emergency conference about the situation in his country in neighboring Tanzania. Celebrations, however, were short lived. By the next day, the coup had collapsed and government forces reasserted control. Kurunzinza would later in June win the election with a landslide. The situation in Burundi, however, remains fragile. Gunfire and explosions have become a common thing in the capital, Bujumbura. Its attacks on December 11th, however, that sparked an outcry world over. Three military camps were attacked. What followed were mass killings, with at least more than 100 people believed to have been killed. The UN has warned that Burundi is at the brink of sliding back to civil war. Kofam Renje, CCTV.